Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Cobb Salad LP. Ha <laughs> ha Welcome to the Cobb's LP. Let's get some tea. Let's relax. Let's chill out, you and me, and play some Sims. So exciting news is that we are in a new house. Yay! So exciting. Uh, this is our new house that I built, and I thought it was nice to go for something affordable, but has a little bit of that rustic feel that we know and love about Logan and Ronnie as well. And I don't know, I just thought we could do a simple kind of farmhouse. It's not an extravagant build by any means, but I think it gives the right, the right vibe for this family. And also uh, we have a undercover part here where we can start planting these plants. Uh, I've actually chucked out all of our old plants like the daisies and stuff like that because they really weren't making any much money for us and I've planted some more roses here because they do make a little bit of money uh, so we've basically just got roses at the moment and then of course the orchard out here and I'm also extra excited because it is spring so we're no longer um, in winter constantly although it is still very sad Marianne is a bit upset here um, and a lot of you guys were thinking and saying that Marianne should really start focusing on something new, maybe take up a new hobby. We did get her into a little bit of music, but I don't know if that really vibed with her that much. She does love music, but I don't know if she wants to play music. Let's see how her skills actually were. I mean, oh my God, guitar level six. Okay, maybe, maybe guitar is a good idea for her. Maybe that was rude of me to say music isn't her thing. We should, we should get her a guitar. And we, we also have our vet now too, so we're making a little bit of money that way. Uh, and some of you guys were hoping Logan could maybe get a little bit on the dating scene, not necessarily fully, like, find his new soulmate, but at least kind of get out there a little bit. Let's maybe pluck some inspiration and jam a bit. Uh, and we can maybe get her to busk a bit. Oh look, Patchy's here. So I guess, I guess I give the tour, right? So this is the new place. Um, it kind of, I wanted it to look like maybe a farm shed that had been extended into a home. And yeah, I wanted it to just have that nice rustic feel and also be simple, but also have a lot of character, like this little letterbox I thought was really fun. So you go in, we've got, uh, you know, a bit of a bit of color in here, nice rug. It's all pretty muted though, but I also felt like Ronnie, I mean, not Ronnie, well, Ronnie. Uh, I thought Logan would really like the feeling of, or the look of mid-century modern. So we've got like a mid-century coffee table, side table. We've kept the doll. Uh, for uh, Acacia to grow up with. I also kept these little cat stickers that I thought Logan might find kind of funny to put on the windows. Uh, we got those from our vet clinic, opening that up. Ronnie's garage is still, has still got a couple of items around. Uh, I also kept the industrial light over there. I love this um, bench and chair set up here. This is custom content by Harry. She actually separated the bench chairs from the benches so you can mix chairs and benches, which I really, really love. Nice rustic kitchen here, loving that. That is also some custom content cupboards. I just went to town with a bit of custom content in my LP because I was like, well, it's my game, so I'm gonna make it how I want. The girls are now sharing a bedroom, which I thought was quite nice. Uh, they are becoming good friends and they do share a desk and a lap top but that's okay they don't have stacks of money uh, but we do have some more bathrooms bathrooms are just this terracotta tile look with the white subway tiles uh if you want to look into these cupboards and those uh tiles that i use they're actually my most or uh, in my custom content video where i look at was it logical sims no i look at little dickers packs i think they're little dickers this is from the old house we've got some crafts made there from the old house Gorgeous little bedroom for Acacia, who'll be aging up soon, which is really exciting. Another bathroom, I love the vintage tub in there. Um, and this is Mariana's room, very simple, very clean, uh, which I think is nice for her, completely fresh start. We've also got some artwork of cats around the house. I felt like Logan and the family would have kept. And then this is Logan's room, which is very simple again. It's small, but I feel like he's the type of person who's like, I don't need much, I don't need like, big wardrobes or anything. He has a bathroom in here. So that's basically the house. Uh, and then we've got this little outdoorsy bit. I kept, com I kept some of the shelves as well. One thing I did just realize that I don't think I put up, which I thought I did pack with them, 
was the Ronnie's Garage car face. Did I not put the car face anywhere? Cause that, that's a real iconic item. Maybe we could put that up, just double check I didn't put it anywhere else. Maybe we could put the car thing on like above Mariana's bed. I don't know if she'd want that above her bed though. Cause like if it fell on you, goodness gracious me, that would be, that would be pretty bad if it fell on you. But let's see, what pack was it from? Was it from Strangerville? I actually don't recall. It's like the big car face. Oh, here it is, not a scrap. It's actually in lighting and it is from Strangeville. I think it was like this kind of a style. I, d I still don't think Mariana would like it right there. We could put it above the TV. You know, we've got this, this beautiful wall there or it could go outside somewhere. It's probably going to make the most sense above the TV. Uh, it does stick out a lot. We could maybe have it freshly painted so it's like a nice blue color because it was rusted prior to that. Or we could maybe move this and put it here and have Ronnie's garage, I know, old, picture kind of on the floor here. I mean, I, I don't mind the idea of leaning something against a wall. It's not so bad. And then having this over there. Is it too big though? I almost prefer it above the TV, even though it looks a little, a little full on. You let me know in the comments down below what you reckon. But anyway, getting back into it, I also did a little makeover, I think, of Ryder since the last part. Uh, now that she's interested in a boy, I feel like she's paying a little bit more attention of the way she looks. A lot of you guys had different opinions on Jake because uh, he is a snob and materialistic. Some of you guys were like, oh, she's just going for anyone because finally a guy has interest in her, so she'll like him anyway, even though he's not very appealing. But some of you other guys were like, he probably came from a really well-off family, so he is a bit snobby and materialistic, but it's more of a case of teaching him what the real world is like and getting away from that. So I don't know, you know, we all have our different opinions. I guess we'll see. We'll see how, how they are. So let's maybe do a late night vet clinic open. How are the girls going with homework as well and aspirations? Become an adult, well, can't do much about that. Friends of the animals, maybe we should, um, oh, we did want to get a pet as well. Maybe we should get Ryder to look online at some pet adoptions and she's probably like, dad, I really wanna get a pet. So, oh, first of all, let's send, uh, let's send Jake a message, just, send a text to him. And then let's maybe look at if there's any pets to adopt. Uh, a cat or a dog? I feel like they're real dog people, this family, but I could also see them having a cat later on. I mean, I think she's a lover of all animals. I love how Patchy's just like chilling out here. Isn't this nice? The family sitting around the fire. So cute. <laughs> Aw, little acacia there. Maybe we'll get Elena to wake up Logan and be like, so did you hear Ryder has a boyfriend? And he'll be like, oh my God, what? Uh, we'll just ask about his day, share love of dogs, and then not help fix bad relationship. But I want to see if she can, I don't know, ask about children. Mm, that's not quite it. Complain about parents, give a pep talk. We'll just enthuse about interest. She can just be like, guess what? Writers found a guy she likes. And she's like, excuse me, why do you have to tell dad? I, I mean, I kind of like him. He's pretty cute, dad. Can I please go on a date with him? Logan would be like, oh God, I don't know. I don't know, ask your mother. <laughs> he, just, he just really is unsure about teenage daughter things, I think. Uh, why, didn't, why didn't she look at adoption then? Did that just glitch out, I think? Oh, well, we'll try again, try and adopt a dog and we'll open up the vet clinic and see, oh, I already opened it up. I actually got another worker there so we can open it while we're at home. So I'm hoping that we still make enough money for that to be worthwhile or maybe we can only run it with one, one person there. Mariana, do you wanna play some more guitar? Why don't you sing some songs? Sing, sing some songs. I don't understand, can you come over here please? I don't understand why you're not wanting, oh, don't go on a vacation. I mean, a family vacation could be a nice thing at this point. I actually kind of like that idea. Maybe we do need to go on a vacation. Adopt, adopt a dog. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can, 
Why isn't it working? I want to adopt a dog. Can we adopt a cat? Maybe it's a sign we need to adopt a cat. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's just this desk. I think this custom content Sims Kia desk isn't working. That might be what is wrong here. Let's see if, let's just do a little test here. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's maybe, you know what? That's not gonna work either, cause that's in the way. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this here and move the computer over here and see if she can use this desk happily. And if that's the case, then we'll just delete the other one. Okay, let's try this one more time. Adopt a dog. Okay, yeah, so it's totally, totally this that needs to go. <laughs> Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Well, I think we know that we probably don't want to get another um, elderly dog because as much as we loved her, she died pretty quickly. Sprinkles, it's a bull terrier. I love sprinkles. Adult, female, spade, it's a nice dog. We could get a puppy, puppies are a lot of work. Trust me, I know. Uh, Chichu, oh my gosh, Australian Shepherd Chichu, so cute. Oh, Pixel. I feel like there's a lot of adult dogs that need a good home though. At least the puppies have a little more time to find a home. Annie. Oh, George. English Cockle Spaniel. I, I'm kind of leaning towards Sprinkles, the Bull Terrier. Um, my dog, Bowser, he has a good friend, Dexter the Bull Terrier, and he absolutely loves him. So I feel like we should, we should go with a Bull Terrier. Okay, so here's the lady. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a look. This is definitely a look with the brown suit having the moss green eyeshadow and green lips and the highlighter, honey. Highlighter's popping today. <laughs> I love her. I love Ileana. Uh, funny introduction. I guess Logan... I don't know, maybe it's a surprise for Logan to get a dog. He, he's probably like, uh, honey, why is there a woman here? What is happening? She's like, hi, I may have not told my dad, but I'm really excited because we're ready for a dog. What? That's not the dog I, whoa, 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 whoa. Why are there two dogs here? What? Why, why did she bring two dogs? What? Whoa. There's three dogs. Um, since when do they bring multiple dogs? How many more pets are on our lot right now? <laughs> I've never seen them bring more than one dog. Is that a glitch or is this like a selective process? Whichever one you get along with the most. Oh, Molly, how are we meant to choose out? Choose I mean, we're here to see sprinkles. Logan, I mean, this is funny. Ellen is probably like, um, yeah, sh so I told her to tell you. It's like, Ryder, why wouldn't you ask me? She's like, I knew you would say you're not ready for another dog dad, but I think you are. I think it would be really good for us. Please, please, can we keep sprinkles, please? <laughs> we should uh, do a funny introduction. We should at least say, oh, she's thinking about Logan. She's like, hmm, I like oh, this guy. Why is there so many hookup options? Uh, oh, cause he's doing his introduction first. Oh, they like each other. I mean, maybe this is a new friend. Ask about day, heartfelt compliment. He's like, thank you so much for bringing, oh my gosh, she's feeling very flirty from all of it playing. Okay, let's at least say hi. Let's do the friendliest introduction. Little sprinkles over here. Sprinkles looks so sweet. Hi sprinkles. <laughs> Sprinkles, what's up? Uh, the friendliest introduction obviously is the best option for now. She's like, hi, how are you? Oh, look at that, she's so good with dogs. Okay, praise, uh, friendly, offer friendship. Look at its little tail wagging pet play. Uh, this has been open for three hours so we can keep it open for now. How's this relationship going? Pretty good. Oh, oh, uh oh. That didn't go so well. It's okay, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Like, it's okay, Sprinkles, it's fine. Play a little bit. Yeah, just just play. I love how these guys are they're so far away from each other. Her makeup's just really something, hey. Uh, I don't know, I feel like they want to encourage 
Logan a little bit more to get out at about, ask if she wants kids, discuss fitness techniques, I don't know. Look at all of these doggies. Oh, Eleanor should, should do a cautious introduction. What, I, can we adopt all of them? Oh my gosh, Ryder is a glutton. Well, that's okay. That's okay. I mean, sprinkles is. Okay, talk to a little bit, pet a little bit more. Oh, and Sprinkles likes cars. Okay. Eleanor is going through a phase. She's feeling distant and will prefer to be alone for a while. Oh, Give a big treat. Well, I reckon we should adopt Sprinkles. It's more Ryder's dog. they will be a family dog. Yay! And then can we click on the other dogs and adopt them too? I don't know if we can just adopt them all. I mean, let's see, can we end up with all three dogs? Oh wait, does that mean we don't get, I wanna make sure we get sprinkles first, yeah. <gasps> sprinkles, yay! We still can adopt another dog. I just wanna, I just really actually wanna see if we can adopt all of them which is probably not very smart of us to get all three at once. <gasps> what? You can't adopt all of them. Oh my gosh, we have two dogs. I don't really, I think I want to change the name to, like it's a rusty color. Rust, rusty? I mean, I kind of like rusty. Congratulations, we've added another pet. Oh my lord, look, we have two pets now. Look at them. <gasps> what, we can get a third pet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, are we going to have enough space? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know, I think three is too much, but then I feel bad for this last pet. But we're not gonna be able to spend much time looking after that pet if we have all three. I think, I think we'll just go the two. I'm sorry, I'm sure you'll still find a beautiful home. Rusty, calm down, Rusty. Oh, look at these two. At least they have each other to play with. That's so exciting. Okay, well, we definitely need to get some pet stuff. I feel so bad about the other one. But you know, I'm sure, I'm sure they'll find someone to take care of them. We should maybe have a fenced yard, actually. So the, the dogs, they don't get, like go outside and get lost and stuff. I know in The Sims it doesn't matter, but I kind of like making it feel more like real life. So they can run around in the farm orchard. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so beautiful. Now, did I wanna use, I mean, they're gonna get through the gaps in this one. So let's get a decent fence. Again, I know that it's The Sims, so they, they won't actually get out, but just to make it more, uh-oh, we don't have much money. Okay. Maybe, maybe let's just do like a, a teeny tiny fence just here, just to have this little bit for now. And then we'll add more later. So we'll pop this in like that. And then we're gonna need a doggy door. We're gonna need a doggy door. So let's get, oh, what's going on here? Let's get a little doggy door, uh, a modern one. Thanks to my first pet stuff for putting this in the game. <laughs> Uh, can I go there? Is that enough room? Yeah, I guess that'll be fine. So they can go in and out here. And then of course they're going to need a food bowl. So let's get some pet stuff. But like obviously this family, I feel like this family definitely needs like pets for sure. That's just what this family needs. 240 simoleons, maybe we can get away with just one at the moment. And then do they need anything to lie down on? I mean, the thing is with my dog, even though he has this beautiful, big orthopedic, comfortable bed, he never uses it. So I'm like, do they need this? I guess it depends on the breed. Hey, well, we'll just have this one here. Oh, she's just chilling outside, just making sure everything's fine. Let's fill this up. I reckon Mariana would love having a dog too. Fill the bowl. Yay! We don't have any toys yet. Pet, Oh. We need to potty train the puppy too. Yeah, I'm gonna say that Sprinkles is more Ryder's, um, Ryder's pet. And then this little one, Rusty, maybe Mariana and Logan will warm to a bit more. Oh look, it used the doggy door for the first time. Oh, oh my gosh, I thought it was gonna die then. Oh, look at it. Okay, we should start training them. We should really start training them. I mean, Logan's in decent mood, excuse me. What? You can get up and out of here? 
Where are you trying to go? Oh, not Simstagram pet. Oh, are you doing a, oh, it's doing a poo. Oh no, it's doing a wee. Good. Okay, so how do we, because we did ask. We did tell it to go to the toilet. Offer friendship. It, Rusty. Treat, because you got to say, well done. Why would we scare the pet? Uh, can we do some training? Or can you not train puppies? Pet care. I will just ask to go potty again. Maybe let's see if we can train sprinkles. Oh, look at these two. That's so cute. Okay, maybe we can do a little bit of training, bit of brushing. Oh, here we go, training. Uh, let's do some rollover. Because this is great. Because we have two dogs, uh, we can get ahead with being friends with a couple of a couple more animals, which Ryder needs to do. Uh, to be a companion, raising your relationship with a pet to sufficient level so you can become a companion with them through an interaction. That's good. Successfully train our two misbehaviors. Okay, so this will be great for Ryder. And then in terms of Elena, Elena still really loves dogs. So I feel like Elena hasn't really gotten to know any of these new pets. Uh, so maybe... We'll go to Rusty. I mean, maybe Eleanor likes, is gonna be closer with Rusty. Pet, offer friendship, or we'll give treat. We don't wanna give the puppy too many treats because then we'll get the runs. There we go. Oh, so sweet. Get to know. Oh, oh, we got some roses. We can sell those. See, 87 simoleons, love that. I know I don't need to click on them all, I just always do out of habit. Oh, Sprinkles is a sleuth dog. They like to search around the house and can investigate things. Well, that's handy. <gasps> Going through the doggy door, a nice one. Okay, she's gonna use the toiletty. beautiful. Oh wow, it's, it's like they've been up literally all night. Okay, you girls need to get some rest. I know that having a Two new puppies is pretty exciting. It's actually very exciting. Are any of these able to be harvested? No, sadly not. Hey, need a, oh, I should be harvesting these, not selling them because we need to grow more. We're not gonna make enough money each day from just a couple of bushes. And how are you going? You are the most easiest toddler to look after, I swear. Oh, and Rusty's a couch potato. Oh, that's too precious. Look at him. <laughs> So sweet. Ryder, you're meant to be... Okay, I think you need to get something to eat before you sleep. Although, actually, I think they do just eat at school. So let's just have the girls sleep for a bit. Like properly, just nap before school. And then we've got to work from home for Logan. That's easy. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about our pet store. Oh no, we made 647 simoleons. Uh, for nine hours? I mean, it's a... Oh, we have three employees. That's probably why we're not making much. We could put some money into advertising actually, uh, but can we can we do that with perk points now? Uh, 55 points, okay, we don't have anything really. Business funds, this is just, yeah, I think we actually have to travel to the lot to do much else. I mean, can we just keep opening and closing and getting heaps of money that way? Because we've made $1,400 worth of business funds. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, hello. Let's give a little hug to this little one. Where's Sprinkles? Sprinkles is over here. Okay. All right, girls. So they've had a little bit of a sleep, which is good. I'm just gonna let them sleep all the way in. They can, they can definitely eat later if they need to. I'm gonna get Logan to have some sleep. I can get you to have some sleep as well. And little Acacia. Actually, I wonder how old Acacia is. When is she? Oh, she ages up tomorrow. Yay. Okay, I'm really excited about her aging up. Oh, it's so sad because Ronnie won't be here. Oh, that, that, that sucks that Ronnie won't be here. Oh, oh no, these girls need to go to school. Okay, I let you guys sleep in for way too long. Bye girls, have a good day at school. It'll be nice for us to get some good weather, actually. Oh, we'll get them to study hard. Uh-oh, each pet has its own fear. What's Rusty scared of? Where is Rusty? Oh, oh, look at this! Look at Sprinkles just relaxing there. Oh, uh, I think Rusty is, Rusty scared of the fire? Not sure. Uh, Mariana can just work from home. Where is she? I don't even know like what she does. Let's get her to go to work, because I don't, I don't, I really don't like this career, I don't think. It's it's kind of funny because I do social media, but I don't like doing social media on The Sims. 
Uh, I don't really want free earbuds right now. Half of you guys are like, what? Why wouldn't you take the free earbuds? Are you crazy? How are we going with food? Okay. All right, well, I think we're gonna need to do a little bit of training. It's almost Acacia's birthday, so we also need to make Acacia a cake. Uh, I don't know, maybe one of the girls will do that later. Not because girls should be in the kitchen, but just because there's more of them. So one of them can do it. Uh, she's been working relentlessly on an article. 10 minutes before she posts it online, a coworker posts the same article. Let it go, scoop them back. Uh, performance gain small. Yeah, you don't want to post an article when someone else's happened. To... It's like posting a video that's the same as someone else's. It's like, mm. it's just, you may as well wait a few days probably. Cause you don't want people being like, you copied, you know? Okay, let's see. How long has Hillside been open for? Six hours. I mean, we made another $300. Let's just keep opening and closing. <laughs> Yay. Sprinkles, how did you, excuse me. Uh, lecture about playing in, in trash. That's not appropriate behavior. Now you're gonna have to have a bath if you're playing in the trash. Excuse Oh, excuse me. That was a bit naughty. Calm down. Calm down, Sprinkles. Hey, we love you. Calm down, Sprinkles, buddy. <laughs> uh, female. Oh, they're both females too. Oh, Logan just became friends with Sprinkles. Well, that's good. Ask to go potty, maybe. Just in case you need to go. Train commands. Attack. Oh my gosh. Attack Patchy. Should we try and do that? I've never seen them attack someone. I feel like this is a really bad thing to be doing. Is there going to be a consequence or is it just gonna be like a funny little animation? I don't know. Where is Patchy? Uh-oh, Patchy, I'm so sorry. Imagine if like straw went everywhere. Uh-oh. Why does, why do you know how to attack? Oh, I don't think Sprinkles is actually doing what the attack, so that's good. I do think we need to do some training though. Let's continue the rollover. Well, that that was a sign that Sprinkles is not aggressive, which is really good. Appreciate that. Can you roll over? I'm trying to teach Bowser how to roll over at the moment. It's really hard. <laughs> oh no, not quite yet. I'm not quite sure of that yet. That's all right. You'll get there eventually. Oh, Acacia, I totally forgot we have a toddler. <laughs> Patchy, Patchy's always taking care of our kids <laughs> in every LP. Food, please. It looks like Logan's gonna have to get some food. Oh, communication level four, not bad. Yay! Sprinkles rolled over. Ryder's back from school. Mariana's back. We are getting a little bit more money, which is great. <gasps> Who's that? Oh, the principal? What? We went to school today. My principal called to say that my school performance is pretty shaky. If I'm not careful, I could drop a grade. I was told to focus on my school goals. Really? Whoa, is that who I think it is? It's Heather. Heather walking past the new house. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, well, I feel like Ryder's not really interested in school. Oh, her performance is poor. I mean, she's just not that into school. She's got a lot of passions, but it doesn't mean she's a bad student, you know? She just, she just needs to focus on what she's good at and some, what? Oh, we forgot to pay the bills. I mean, I forgot to pay the bills. We only just moved in. Pay bills, Logan can't afford this. Oh dear, a few money, a few money problems. <laughs> I mean, look, it's not like we haven't been through this before. I'm gonna transfer 1500 to us. There we go. I mean, we're just making, making, getting by. Just make, getting by, making, getting by. <laughs> I mean, maybe the kids could help out a bit more at the vet. That could be a good idea. You know? It's gonna get everyone to focus on their needs. My face is a mess. I can't go anywhere looking like this. What can I do? It's true, Eleanor does get a lot of acne. It's fine, don't overreact. 
try some light makeup. I mean, I think we would say, okay, well, let's get you some good skin stuff. So let's, Mariana can get us some skin options. Uh, I think, I mean, we don't have a whole heap of money, but one time treatment. Oh, we've already got her on a routine. Well, let's do another treatment. Where is she? Face mask, uh, skincare. Stop routine. Okay, we're doing everything we can to help her acne, but you know, it's it's a bit tough, isn't it? It's a bit tough. Maybe Ryder can invite, oh, Toddy. I love Toddy. I feel like Toddy and Ryder should be together, but she's got her eyes on Jake and it's like, yeah, it's not, it, it's like she's interested in both, but I love Toddy. Toddy. Also, we need to spend more time with the dog too. Well, anyway, you guys, I might finish off this part right here. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you like the new house. Let me know what you think and the new pets. But as always, I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon. Oh my gosh, cats here and cats and elder? Whoa. Cat. She getting old. How old are you now? Oh, Logan's an elder too. I forget that they're all getting old now. Wow, okay. Let's uh let's invite her in. I feel like Ryder's been avoiding her mom a lot. Like she goes out. She has, her mom looks awesome gray, actually. Um Ask about her mom's income? I don't think so. I was about to finish this, but you know, ask if Catalina had woohoo. Ask for money, that would be good. Can we have some money, please? We only have $300 for the for the family at the moment. Can we please, we need some more. $28, are you serious? That's all. There's the child support. Maybe we should get a child support mod. It's good to see your mom. Logan can be like, hi, Kat. Uh, talk about how he's been doing some cooking. Discuss gourmet dishes, something just really easy to talk about. Oh my gosh, look at their relationship. I, I don't see them getting back together anytime soon, but I do like her with gray hair. I do think she looks really nice. Uh, Mariana can say, hi. Do you need anything, sweetie? Maybe now's a good time to ask Auntie Cat. Oh, she sees Aunt Auntie Cat as a stranger. Wait, Auntie Cat? I don't even know how that works, but you know. Bath, please, from from Cat. <laughs> we'll we'll put her to some to some good use while she's back here. And was that was Toddy gonna come over? I thought Toddy was gonna come over, but maybe not now. Maybe now's not a good time. Well, anyway, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to y'all soon. Dark dark.